Today we turn. We're gonna learn how to turn. So, um... First thing we have to do, turn our robot on and launch our our programming software, which is the Lego Mindstorms EV3. So I've launched the uh, programming software and it doesn't actually just come up like we had it before. So we have to go to File, Open Project and click Open over there and our window will pop up and I see my project right here, Troutline Moving, whatever yours was named. Click Open and it should open and load just how it was when you left it yesterday. Again, I'm gonna close this box, and I've got my program yesterday from going back to the line, sign line, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna, uh, and I'm gonna hit this little plus sign right there. If you can't see it, it's right, right there, okay? And it's gonna pop up and it's gonna say either new program or new experiment. I don't want to experiment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna program. Okay, so I'm gonna click new program, it's gonna come up like this, and I'm going to rename this. I'm going to say turning. Turning. Okay. Awesome. On the floor, I've made a little square with tape. And um, we're going to use this to learn how to turn. So in the real world, um, say we want to do some 3D modeling of this little house, okay? And we want to get a picture of every, of every side of the house. Um, so what we need to do is we need to start our robot and then drive it forward and turn, drive it forward and turn, drive it forward and turn, and then drive it forward again around this square. So we need to be able to turn 90 degrees and there's a couple different ways to do that. So in order to get a picture of all the sides of the house, we have to turn around this square. The first way to turn is to use a move tank. And I'm going to blow this up and get my play button back. Is to use a move tank. So um, I'm going to pull a move tank up here. And it says that my ports are wrong, but they're really not. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. That's just an error that I'm having in the program today. And I'm going to change my speed to 25. Again, 25 is a good manageable speed. All right, so 25 and 25. So, um, but I want one wheel to go backwards and one to go forwards. So if we look at our robot um, and we take a, a bird's eye view of it, okay, we have a right wheel, which is B, okay, and a left wheel, which is A. So left is in port A, and right is in port B, okay? So if, if this right here is A, and this right here is B, so A, B, A, B, A, B. First is A, second is B. A, B. Okay, left is A, right is B. Left is A, right is B. All right, so if I want one wheel to go forward and turn, I'm gonna, let's say let's turn left. Okay, so I want B is moving, right? Is A moving? No, it's not. Uh, but we're gonna make it move. So if A and B both move at the same speed, it's gonna turn like this. But one wheel's moving backward and one wheel is moving forward. And in this case, B is moving forward and A is moving backward. So let's make it, let's make it move forward. So let's make A move backward. So I'm gonna change this to a negative 25, a negative 25. And then B is just gonna stay at 25 and we're just keep one for now. Okay, so I'm gonna download it to my robot. So now my robot should turn if I run the program. So again, I'm gonna find my folder. Okay, uh, trout line moving, all right, and turning. So I'm gonna press this and we're gonna see what happens. Awesome, it turns. 
okay? It doesn't turn 90 degrees, but here's where we can learn how to experiment to get it to turn to 90 degrees. So to get it to turn to 90 degrees, what we want to do is change this number right here, this one. And in order to do that, I'm just gonna click it, and I'm gonna say uh, 0.5. Okay, so let's see how much 0.5 turns us. And let's see if this gets us 90 degrees. Oh, it's pretty close. All right, uh, we need a little bit less. We need a little bit less, and if we're working in uh, tenths of a degree, all right, uh, we need a little bit less. Uh, and I'm actually gonna slow this down because I feel like it's turning too fast. I'm gonna say 10 and 10. And then I'm gonna say uh, a little bit less than 0.5. What's a little bit less? Uh, 0.4. Okay, 0.4, 4 tenths. I'm gonna download it, and let's see what it does. Find the program, turning. Oh, that's almost perfect. That is almost perfect. I just found out that 0.4 was too, too little of a turn. So I'm gonna actually turn it to 0.45, and I'm gonna leave it like that for now. So now I wanna move forward and turn. And I have a program over here. If I click this, I have a whole bunch of blocks for moving forward uh, for one foot. And that's what we want. We want to move forward for one foot, then turn. So I'm going to actually uh, right click on this block. Actually, I'm going to click it. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to go to edit, copy this block. And then I'm going to go back to this program and I'm going to say edit. I uh, copied and pasted this block and I have it in the right position and I'm going to download it to my uh, robot um, and let's go see what happens. Okay, what should happen is it should go forward and turn and look something like this when it's done. So I'm going to queue up my program, find my folder, find turning and let's see what happens hey that's like almost perfect but it needs to be right here so I need to go forward a little more right instead of guessing how many rotations this wheel needs to turn the robot needs to go forward I'm going to uh, actually measure it so I've got my robot in my starting position and uh, I have my peg at the top right here and I'm going to push the robot and I'm going to count. I'm going to say, all right, this has been one rotation and this has been one and three quarters of a rotation. I know you can't see that. So right here in this block, I'm going to put one and three quarters. Now as a decimal, that's 1.75. And I'm going to download it to my robot and let's go see if it works. Yes, it works perfect. All right, but now I want this to happen. It has to happen four times, right? In order to go all the way around the, the house. So I'm going to introduce you to a new block. And this block's pretty cool. It's a loop block. So uh, it's this block right here in the orange tab, this block right here. I'm going to pull it up, and then I'm going to let it uh, just go in the front. And now I'm gonna click and drag to select these blocks. And I'm gonna put them inside, hopefully. Maybe I gotta delete this first. Oh, I gotta put them in one at a time. Put them in one at a time inside this loop block. All right, now this loop block has this infinite, it says unlimited, button right here. So I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna say, a count. I want to count. I want this loop to count to not one, not two, not three, but to four. I'm going to change that number to four and download this and see what happens. So that worked great, and uh, I ended up having to change the turn block, the, the, the 
the rotation that's turning to 0.39, sometimes you got to go 0 0.39, 0 0.38, 0 0.37, 0 0.41 to get it to turn 90 degrees, okay? Those are rotations. Now, if you're turning for seconds, it's a different way. Okay, for the next challenge, you may have to modify your front attachment a little bit, just like I did right here. I made it a little bit longer by adding some beams, and it's not pretty, but it works. Next challenge is we're going to be a automated robot at a factory. And what we have to do is we have to take these blocks that are at the bins, uh, the individual bins, these two bins, and the black bin over there. I only have one of them, so I'm going to move it as I go. Um, and go have the robot come up to it, put its arm down, turn around, oops, it fell over, turn around, and then deliver it back to here. Pick the arm up, turn around, go get it at this one, and I'm going to, as the robot's doing this, I'm going to move this, get it, turn around, bring it back, put the arm up, turn around, and go to the last line and get it, turn around, bring it back to here. So first things first is we have a program for these three lines already. We, we have a uh, program that we programmed yesterday to, or last video, to uh, go back and forth between these three lines. So what we're going to do, we're just going to add to that program. So we're back here at uh, the LEGO EV3, and we're on the turning program. I'm actually going to go back to the moving forward program, and I'm back to this program that I'm back to this program that I have yesterday. Uh, so I am going to take all of this. I'm going to highlight this and click and drag. And then I'm going to hold Shift down and select everything that I didn't get, and I'm going to move this down. I didn't get everything. Click this and move it down to because I want to go to the first line. Okay, so go to first line and I comment all of the code so I know what I'm doing. And you should do this because this is a good habit. Because now I know, okay, I'm going to the first line, then I'm waiting. Awesome. Now I can put a wait block or a turn block in there. So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna move tank and I'm going to put it in there as negative 10 and 10 like I did before, okay? Negative 10 and 10. And I know that 90 degrees, my, it turns out that my 90 degree turn was 3.39. And uh, if I go ahead and um, want to put that in the other one, that's a 90 degree turn, 0.39. Nine, but I don't want to go 90 degrees. I want to turn completely around. That's 180 degrees. And so that would be about 0 0.78. 0 0.78. And we're going to try this and see if it works. So the robot should go forward to the first line and just turn around and face back home. Okay, let's see if that program works. It should go to the first line and just turn around. And it does, perfect, awesome. But before it turns around, I want it to pick up or, or grab the, uh, the block that's sitting there. So I'm gonna add another block, and this is a new block to us again. And this medium motor block down here, it's the first one. Here, and uh, I'm going to make sure that it's in port C. Port C controls the fronts of our robots. And uh, I'm going to say down, uh, down. So down is negative numbers. Down, negative 10 for 0.5 rotations. And I don't know if this is, work, this is going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold my robot here. And I'm going to download the program and run it and see if it works. Okay, so it's locking. See how? Okay, so I figured out that 0.2, negative 10 down, and 0.2 rotations works great. Uh, so I'm going to run it and see if it will actually get the block. Awesome, it got it. 
if it's stayed standing up. So we got it. And what I want to do is now I want to connect it to coming back to start. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and uh, move this stuff. I'm going to drag and select and move it up here to the corner and then add a comment. The comment button is right there. Add a comment that says I am. I'm going to drag the box that says uh, I'm getting block and then add another comment. I just copy and paste that that says turning. Okay. I've commented all that. All right, now I can come back to home and I'm going to come back to home and then I have to put the arm up. So I have to find this block and I can select it and I can edit, copy, edit, paste and put it at the end here. Now I'm actually gonna get rid of these weights. I don't need them, I'm gonna select them and delete them. Um, And this comment would be called uh, setting block or letting go of block or something. Uh, but instead of negative 10, I wanted to go up 10. So I'm going to say positive 10 and there we go. And now I have to turn again. So I'm going to turn the, I'm going to actually turn the other way uh, just so we can practice turning the other way. So I'm going to get these blocks again and copy them and paste them turning and uh, instead of a being negative 10 let's make a 10 and then b has to be negative 10 and we're going to leave the 180 degree turn the the 0.78 turn and it should get the block and then turn around go back to home let go of the block and turn around to go to the next block so I actually just tested the program and I realized I made a really big mistake. Right here in the coming back to start, last video we went backwards back to start, but this time we're going forward. So instead of negative 25, we have to have 25 and 25 in this block right here. Uh, that was a huge mistake. So change that and then try it again and see if it works. Perfect, we delivered one block to the truck to be loaded from the factory. So your mission is to finish it out, drive the robot up to here, get the second block, deliver it back, drive the robot to the third line, get that block and deliver it back to here. So there should be three blocks in a robot just like this when we are done. So one, two, three blocks on a robot facing the rest of the factory just like this when you're done.